Continuing Fall's dyslexia season now with dyslexic criminals. Polmont Young Offenders Institute near Edinburgh houses over 400 teenagers from all over Scotland. Many of them started offending while playing truant from primary school. By the time they came to Polmont, they were seasoned criminals. Currently serving a two-year sentence for assault and robbery. For death by dangerous driving. For housebreaking and drugs. For serious assault. Premier disfigurement, severe injury. Car theft. Car theft. Car theft. Misuse of drugs act. Assault and robbery on a shot. For assault. For being a bad boy. <laughs> Jane Kirk and Gavin Reed believe that undiagnosed dyslexia may be a significant factor in leading to juvenile delinquency. There is a body of evidence which suggests that dyslexia is fairly prevalent in young offenders, but there's some people who refute that and say it's no more prevalent in the prison population than it is elsewhere. To settle the dispute, Jane and Gavin are going to test a random sample of 50 of Polmont's inmates. The suggestion that there could be a higher rate of dyslexia inside prison than in the outside world meets with open scepticism from the head of education at Polmont, Les Wiley. I don't think you'll link directly dyslexia with, with major criminality uh, statistics. If, if Les Wiley is right, the computer screening will pick up between two and five dyslexics from the random sample of 50. It's time for the computer screening to begin. The computer test comprises a hundred simple questions and takes just 15 minutes to complete. Jane is watching for behavioral clues. He's using the arrow as a, a prompt. Harry is serving nine months for handling stolen goods. He mouths the words as he reads, a classic sign of dyslexia. Do you read with your left or right hand? James, a burglar on a two-year sentence, must read the questions out loud to understand them. That's another sign of dyslexia. Mikey's had lots of educational support, but this is the first time dyslexia has been identified. He's upset it wasn't diagnosed earlier. I feel cheated. See it a few years of my life. See it at school. Uh -huh. I think that's fair. So I went through but hell at school, you know what I mean? Could, could I just say something which I think is very important? And that is that you've got to really look upon dyslexia from now on as a positive thing. In other words, a good thing. You've got to try to say, right, OK, how could I move on from here? All I can think about is when I was at school and I, I couldn't do as good as that's I'd right. done. And, well, you're quite and right. they, they never done a wee thing like something, mm -hmm. just a wee thing on a computer like that, and it tells them dyslexic. And well, they couldn't even do that at school for me. It says that you are dyslexic, that you process the information in, uh, in a different I, 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 way. I, 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 Did you? I, I, Did you? Ryan, sentenced for armed robbery, is bitter when he's told the news. You know, I feel that it, it really explains some of your some difficulties. If that's the case, why, 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 why wasn't this fixed before we are given the opportunity well, to do something about it? Not I mean, it's, it's a shambles and it shows you the society we're often in, doesn't it? That's not right at all. It's very true. The study is complete. All the volunteers have been tested and the final results are in. 25 out of 50 that's half our random sample, have been diagnosed as dyslexic. It's an extraordinary result. The study suggests that undiagnosed dyslexia is linked to juvenile delinquency. I'll get somebody to kneel at the front and six of you to stand at the back, because we'll just follow the okay. Figures show that 82% of Polmont's inmates were truants, 83 were suspended from school, and more than half were expelled. A lot of these boys have been almost written off as failures at school. So they wind up the teacher, they um, wind up their peer group, and then they're excluded from school, and, and then they're on the, the, the slippery slope into either truanting or being criminals. 
Well, it's a cycle. If you start feeling when you're six or seven, is there any chance when you're 14? By that time, you'll have failed many, many times over. If their dyslexia had been diagnosed in primary school, perhaps some of these young offenders would not be in Polmont today. Mikey is thinking hard about his future. It's six o'clock in the morning, and he's about to leave Polmont. Now he knows he's dyslexic rather than stupid. He's thinking about applying for college. Yeah, mum is waiting to pick me up. She's sitting out there. Okay, if you put her in your... I'm going to have to probably get help on some things. There's no point trying to hide it. It's been a big shock. I think it's been a shock to everybody. The results have major implications for both the prison and education systems.